Good morning. Yeah. It's pizza day, eh? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I did the same thing seven days ago. Got a comment from a viewer. Well, actually, it was an email from a viewer. And he was wondering, am I going to do this every morning? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> okay. So what do we got going here today? Well, it's the, the streets are starting to dry. Uh, first thing this morning, I thought, uh, and I, I've been up for quite a while. And when I first got up, I saw a nice rosy horizon, you might say. And I'm thinking, we might have a really nice sunrise. But, you know, as, as hard as that sun tried to, uh, to come out, and it, it almost did a couple of times. It just gave little tiny glimpses of itself. Um, the uh, weather reporting individual had other plans for us, and we actually had rain here about an hour ago. But, you know, the streets are drying up, and uh, it's not wet on the model table, and that's the main thing. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, roll back. We have a fairly extensive rollback uh, to what I did yesterday afternoon and evening. And uh, yeah, let, let's just, just roll back and see what it was we did to get to where we are here. Okay, I think I may have just made uh, my life a little bit unnecessarily hard here. I, I finished painting these pieces up as I said I was going to and uh, and then afterwards I was thinking well what would have been wrong with having just taken each one of these pieces the you know the way they are right now and and sprayed them completely with the airbrush let them dry and then later on put them all together would, would that not have worked I mean why why did I think I had to why did I think I had to brush the the inside first and then afterwards when when the thing is all assembled here better be careful the paint's still a little bit wet and this this was the one that we okay that one goes there and this one goes like this yeah okay so it's all supposed to go like this and and then I was thinking afterwards, after the insides were painted, as you can see here, uh, then spray the outside, but I, I don't see any reason why it couldn't have been uh, all, all sprayed up and then glued together uh, and, and then touch up any places that maybe the glue... Well, you know what? The, these pieces can easily be held together just strictly by the by by this center piece it, it doesn't have to be glued all the way around the edge so you know then we wouldn't need to worry about you know about uh, uh, extra thin ruining the paint job why will this not go together here there we go yeah uh, you know what I, I think that that's what I'm going to do anyway even though I even though I have painted it. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll do it again. That'll be the second coat. Um, yeah, I think I just made my life hard here. And then stick on these other other little pieces, uh, you know, at the right time. Now, I, I know that some, some of these smaller pieces, like the, the uh, signal lamps and so on, have to be put in place before the, this goes together, but but that that could all be done. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of stupid right now. I'm surprised that nobody has mentioned this uh, in the comments. Uh, unless maybe somebody did and I misunderstood their comment, or it could be that there's going to be a comment to this effect roll in uh, from uh, episode 1227, which is uh, going to be uh, airing in about uh, three hours. Uh, anyway, uh, oh, for goodness sakes. Uh, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm feeling kind of stupid right now. Okay, I'm not saying there is a change in plans now. I'm still thinking that it, it possibly would have been a good idea to have uh, 
you know, painted these pieces and then and then put them together afterwards. Uh, there is a, a bit of a fly in the ointment with that thinking, though, and that is these little pieces right here. Now, one of the viewers was saying that after, like he did the Nelson, and he said after this module is put together, it's, it's uh, I forget how he worded it, but it was quite doable to get these little pieces in, in the right places uh, along in here. Um... Uh, I just don't know. Okay, and now if I was to paint these pieces first and then glue it together, then put these glue these pieces in place, I would have to touch up, which not which isn't uh, impossible. I could touch it up later. Um, but uh, I'm just sort of wondering here about these things. I, I just I just don't know. I yes, yes, they will add to the detail. But are they going to add to my frustration so much that I am? Uh, it's going to take the fun out of this. And this is all about fun. It's not about accuracy. It's about it's about having a good time. And uh, let's let's just for the fun of it here, uh, we'll separate everything. And uh, okay, now. These these searchlights, we're going to have to nip one off of the sprue. Right now it's stuck on the blue tack, but we're going to have to remove it very carefully. Where's my cutters here? Very, very carefully from the sprue. Okay. And then you can see that there are four holes, two on this side and two on this side. And each one of these searchlights with the louvered side facing out, obviously. So we'll see if it'll fit in here. It may or may not, I don't know. Okay, now let's see how, how hard would it be to put those in afterwards. Whoops, that's not the right way. I think, uh, I think to do it properly, I. I would almost have to uh, actually use some some uh, CA thin. I guess what I'm what I'm thinking is that could we get the, this light through there? Not not really. You can't really see the the uh, hole where the peg goes into. Uh, so okay, so that would mean that. We would not be able to uh, spray this thing after these lights are in place. Well, we, we know that. Um, I'm just thinking that I'm going to maybe leave these. You know, I'm already getting frustrated just thinking about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's me. It might not be you. You Stuff like this might not bother bother you, and you're, you're going to get it right no matter what. <laughs> Whereas with me, I, I, uh, I, I want it to look good. And be as as reasonably right as possible, but I uh, I don't want to take the fun out of uh, out of this build by uh, having to do something that is not going to you know is going to frustrate me. So, and I think that these will. Now, when I'm looking at these optical units in the uh, monitor, I think to myself of E. T. saying, "I want to phone home." I wonder if I was to hold the plier this way, would I be able to do it better or not? I don't want to accidentally cut off the peg. I want to leave, leave most of it there. 
Where's the peg on this one? Okay, I think we did pretty good. Okay, because you are not going to be able to recognize this later, I'm showing it to you now. We have some sliced, sliced olives here. Ordinary pizza sauce. Sliced mushrooms. Well, this you probably know it recognizes sliced uh, onion. This is uh, ground beef, this is chicken, and this is uh, like a pork chop or a pork cutlet. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the ingredients, or at least part of the ingredients. And I'm going to be trying something a little bit new here today. Here in Winnipeg, we have a pizza joint chain that's called Pizza Hut. And one of their specialties is called a deep dish pizza. Now I have discovered that these superstore pizza crusts nicely fit in my uh, what do you call these things? I was going to say ceramic but that's not the word I'm looking for. Silicone or something like that. All right now the the mushrooms, olives and pizza sauce I've just mixed together so it'll be easy to spread around. Now because I want the onion to permeate through the entire pizza, I'm going to put it on the bottom or on the bottom layer, let's put it that way. Now for those of you who don't like it when somebody else touches your food with, your, uh, with their bare hands, well, I, I did wash my hands yesterday. Okay, I washed them today too. But the good news is, you don't have to eat it. I do. And that is good news. Now, I may not be able to use all of this ingredients. I don't know how this is going to bake down. Well, that onion looks like it's got something on there. It might be hard to... Oh, no, that's all right, I guess. Okay, that should be good. Now, to make sure we can sort of glue it all together, we'll just put a little bit of mozzarella in here. And uh, this is uh, called pizza mozzarella, believe it or not. At least that's what Superstore calls it. And once again, we may not use it all. And th this is the, uh, or rather, maybe I should say, this is not the mozzarella quick setting. Now that, that was a, a model table joke. I don't know if you caught that. All right, I'll stick another one on there. You know what? I think I better get some, uh, some of this meat going here. Um, okay, now the the chicken on the top. This is going to overflow, isn't it? This is going to overflow. Well, it's a good thing it can uh, overflow onto the pan. Now, I'm going to have to push pause here because I can hear my alarm going off to tell me I have to upload today's video, so I'm just going to be back in a moment. Okay, probably about uh, five minutes or so has passed here. And I turned my computer on to uh, uh, upload the uh, video. And uh, I get a notification that says that uh, Peter at Oz Scale Modeling is uh, going to be showing something about his uh, 1 200 scale Yamato. So I am going to go and look at that when I'm through messing around here. Okay, it looks like I got lots of extra ingredients left for 
well, a couple more ordinary pizzas, I guess. All right, we'll uh, put that in the oven later, and uh, I'll probably give it oh, 45 minutes at 350 degrees, being as it's it's so thick. Otherwise, an ordinary pizza, I'd only give it about oh 23, 24 minutes. Okay, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Right now, I am about halfway through Peter's box opening for his Yamato. Now, Peter, I don't know if you're watching right now, but this is exactly where I paused your video at that moment. Wow, that's all I gotta say. Actually, that looks pretty good, too, but not near as good, ouch, as Peter's Yamato. Because if I want to turn it, I don't want to grab it with my hands, do I? That looks pretty good. All right, we'll let that cool, and, uh, well, tomorrow's pizza day. Yes, we do have a little gussets that we have to put on. Now they don't show up here on 23, but they are on 24. And here they are here. They definitely have to go on before we paint. And they go, they go on the bottom right here to simulate helping to hold this gun platform up. Um, yeah, you can, well, you probably can't see it, but there's little marks where they have to go. Uh, oh, and then there's, uh, there's some that have to go on here. Where, where, where is that now? Okay, it shows that, uh, oh, let's see here. That would go, yeah, I, I, can, I can see how that would be. Yeah, if this was like this, okay, then if this was like this, okay. Well, maybe I don't need to put those together. It would go, go like so, and little gussets go in the back to help sim simulate supporting this platform. Yeah, okay. So there, it looks like there's about uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It looks like there's a, a dozen gussets that have to go in. Now I don't know about the ladders and the railings and all that kind of stuff, but there, <clears throat> there, uh, there is something. There is stuff that. Well, the gussets definitely should go on now, before we before we spray paint. Otherwise, it's, uh, you know, when I try to touch up the gussets, it's definitely going to show. Um, okay, you know what? What do we got here? 12 minutes after 9. We got to call it quits here. Uh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> My voice is starting to give out. And uh, the pizza's made for tomorrow. Uh, that was the important thing, right? <laughs> All right. We'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And uh, for a moment there, I thought I was going to have another problem. And uh, I was going to go ahead and cut these gussets. And because there are four different sizes, I'm going to keep them separate. And, and I was going to glue them onto the bottom here. And also glue them onto the right here where they're supposed to go. But then I was thinking, how could I spray this module if I've got parts stuck in it but as it turns out oh no there are, there are some parts that have to go in there okay uh, so I do have the problem how can I how am I going to be able to get get these uh, gussets mounted in in here so that I can spray this entire piece and then later put put the uh, little whatever it is that goes in here. I think it's probably the 
probably binocular units uh, that maybe they're on one of the previous pages here well we'll, we'll, we'll find it um, oh yeah here here they are right here there's uh, yeah the binocular units go go in or is it something else well something goes in those holes um, Oh yeah, here you can see, you can see them. It's uh, they're already they were already placed in in step twenty three. Okay, so yeah, so I got that problem. What how how am I going to be able to, you know, fasten these on so that they're going to you know line up here? Okay, I think you get the idea here. I'm sort of thinking out loud here, and I must be driving everybody crazy. Um, okay, just let me nip these pieces off, and I'll I'll think about it. Okay, I have uh, pretty much decided what I'm going to do here for these D24s. And that is, I'll, I'll glue them in place after the module is uh, put together. Uh, and you know that these, these two, these, all these pieces are painted and it's, they're put together and, and so on. Um, and then we'll just, we'll just touch them up with a brush. This is them right here. They're pretty small. I think if I'm careful, I won't. I won't be getting the. See, the the problem is, yes, we're going to be using the same kind of paint, but most of the module is going to be painted with the airbrush, and and the texture on the sides is different from when you use a a, a paintbrush. It, I don't know why that is, but it is. Um, anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead right now, and we're going to try and get our. Uh, uh, D5, 6, and 7s in place here, or at least some of them. And oh, and while I'm thinking of it, uh, Peter's box opening that I watched uh, yesterday, uh, it uh, I watched the entire thing, and it was it's worth watching. Uh, yeah, if anybody is interested in the 1-200 scale Yamato and is thinking of getting it, you might want to watch this because it'll give you kind of an idea of, uh, of what you're going to be getting yourself into and um, I am going to put a link in the description to my video today so underneath where it says this is not a tutorial right at the bottom will be a link to uh, 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 Peter's box opening <laughs> unless I forget because I haven't done it yet uh, anyway uh, let's uh, recompose here and see if we can uh, get some of these, these in place here. I don't think it matters which one we start with. Uh, we'll figure something out. Okay, I've decided what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go from left to right. So we'll start. We'll start over here, and uh, we have to place a couple of D7s. Thank you, Tony. I really appreciate this thing, by the way. I have, my problem is I, I keep forgetting to use it. Um, anyway, let, let me uh, reposition here. Maybe I'll stick the macro lens on. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'll probably use... Uh, I wonder if that that CA extra thin might be good here because it'll, it'll dry so quick. It's almost instant. Sort of. Okay, uh, yeah, just let me reposition here and uh, get the macro lens cranked up. Okay, you can see the uh, lines here. There's one line, and there's the other line. And if we have these so that the holes are, are vertical, in other words, up and down, it, it should be right. Okay, now... I, th I think what I'm going to do, I, well, by the way, I've, I've cleaned these tweezers up. If you remember the, how come I'm trembling? Um, I, I did clean these tweezers up. And uh, I'm going to try this. Just sort of get it, tack it in place here. And it should be, the, the tweezers should let go.
All right, now it appears that, I don't know, this whole thing should lean a little bit more to the right. No, it, it may be that it's probably going to knock it over if I come in just let it sort of wick its way down. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Oh, now I'm out of the crack. Now there is another another option to this. Maybe what I could have done is had this module at a 45 degree angle so that gravity would be our friend here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. This is probably loose. Well, not not really. But this, oh, had to put your big finger in it, didn't you? Okay, I'm gonna turn this thing at uh, 45 degrees, and that way uh, the, the, piece, the piece will just sit right in place. And it looks like there's a little bit of glue built up there too. Maybe I should maybe scrape that so that the corner of the photo etch will go right, right into the corner here. Okay, let's try this again here. Now, I'd like to poke it in just a little bit tighter against the... Oh, should have left well enough alone, right? That's, that is so close. That is so close. I'm just going to leave it like that. Now let's see if we can just very gently touch this. Oh, run. I thought these were going to go easy. Well, at least it didn't ping on the floor. And as I have said so many times, maybe, maybe if I put it on here. It's a good thing I can edit out the dead spots. Don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Oh, but it's not quite in that groove. There, I think that's pretty close. Are we all holding our breath? I know I was. Um, okay, let's just give that about a minute to... I wonder if I could... Get some Okay, I think that's probably gonna be pretty strong once we get it reinforced. Okay, let's push uh, stop and uh, start breathing again.
Okay, I think what I'm going to do is do the other uh, remaining pieces off camera. Okay, I've had this in the fridge overnight. So, and I have not taken it out. You're seeing it along with me for the first time. plan is to cut it into pieces and freeze the pieces individually now let's see how many can I get out of that should I make I think I'll make six you can tell it's cold all right let's uh <laughs> That's different, huh? Well, that wasn't very Canadian of me. I should have said this different, eh? Um, all right, let's uh, let's warm up one piece in the microwave and uh, get it over to the model table. Now, a moment ago, when I set this on the table here, uh, maybe two moments ago. It was uh, still sizzling. I can almost hear it right now. So, yeah, I, I mean, in other words, it's, it's too hot to eat. So I'm just gonna have to let this cool. And I've got five more pieces in the kitchen there that I'm gonna be putting in the freezer. Uh, so we should be good for five more pizza days. Now, what do you think my chances are of uh, not eating them before the five weeks is up? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Uh, we're going to have to do the rest of this in the rollback. Tomorrow's rollback, that is. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we will see you tomorrow. And uh, don't forget to watch Peter's box opening. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good.